dear students myself jitendra sukla we are going to discuss about the solution how to express the concentration of solution solute mixed with solvent and give us solution what do you mean by solution homogeneous mixture suppose i am i would like to show you i am having one one glass of water and i am i have added pinch of salt in this one but you cannot see the salt means if there is no visible boundary between the solute and solvent if there is no visible boundary between the solute and solvent such substance is called homogeneous mixture and homogeneous mixture is called solution now let us see on classification of solution classification of solution on the basis of on the basis of classification of solution on the basis of number of constituent particle on the basis of number of constituent constituent particle let us see what we can see here we used to see the solution that is binary solution what do you mean by binary solution if one solute and one solvent is there then it is called only two component two component are there then it is called binary solution there is solute one solvent now another one is there that is a ternary solution ternary solution what do you mean by ternary solution means there should be three component yes it is three component that is salt sugar along with water there are three substance that is it is called ternary solution now we are having one more we can consider quaternary solution quaternary solution it is what does it state it is state that it consists of four substance or four component salt two type of salt sugar even other substance which can dissolve and water or any other substance then it is called ternary binary ternary quaternary solution it is the type of solution on the basis of number of constituent particle now another way of classification of solution that is based on let us see on the basis of concentration so let us see what do we mean by concentration of solution turn on this let us see on the basis of on the basis of what we can see on the basis of concentration let us see concentration on the basis of concentration very easy let us see people used to see qualitatively and quantitatively quantitatively now what do you mean by qualitatively what do you mean by quantitatively students if qualitatively quality that quality if you consider it is dilute it may be concentrated what do you mean by dilute solution solution sorry let us see consider an example i am having one glass of water i have i am having one glass of water half glass of water it is and uh, i am going to use here 10 g of salt then it is 10 g of salt then it is dilute solution if i am going to eat one glass of water and 20 g of salt then it is called concentrated solution so so solution number a is dilute b is concentrated now one more thing it is not correct way to explain the concentration of solution why why let us see here i have considered it is concentrated it is dilute now if i will use here 100 ml of water and 30 g of salt which salt i am talking i am so talking about the common salt the salt which is soluble in water now students 10 20 30 now uh, if i will discuss between these two 
this is concentrated and this is dilute solution now if i will not consider this one i am going to see going to consider this one it is 20 gram in 100 gram of water 30 gram in 100 gram of water which one is concentrated yes it is concentrated and it is dilute so you cannot you are not certain which is dilute which is concentrated yes it is comparative degree whatever i am considering here these are called aqueous solution if the solvent is water if the solvent is water it is called aqueous solution any other solution water dissolve if water we have as solvent like a salt dissolving water sugar dissolving water alcohol dissolving water it is called aqueous solution if benzene carbon tetrachloride any other substance we have as solvent then that is called non aqueous solution in this chapter especially we will discuss about the aqueous solution where the water we have as solvent now let us see we are discussing quite different thing let us uh, consider to have i think you have got uh, meaning of dilute solution and concentrated solution this is considered as the comparative degree let us see now i will i will discuss i would like to discuss about uh, qualitative analysis qualitative analysis we are having very important detailed data is there first of all i am going to discuss about uh, mass percentage that is mass percentage what is the simple formula we will discuss about the molality we will discuss about the here we can discuss volume percentage it is volume percentage we can discuss about uh, molarity students one very important more data we are having here we can use mole fraction it is their mole fraction so these are the main way to explain express the concentration on the basis of their quantity in the particular solvent now one important thing what is the important thing mass percentage if i will discuss the mass percentage here the formula of mass percentage first formula i am going to discuss that is the, what is the formula that is the mass of solute sir why we are in wb actually in whole this chapter we will use a a is equal to solvent a we will use for solvent sometime we use uh, one also one one or a for solvent two ya b let us see two ya b for solute so what do you mean by solvent if i will write here a it means but uh, certainly i am discussing about the solvent if i am writing about the solute that is the b will be there means it is a general abbreviation that is used to express the solute or solvent in ncrt especially they have used a for solvent b for solute somewhere there sometime they have used they use the one for they use one for solvent and two for solute so consider it is a very important key we you will use we will use so i am not writing in word w b w for weight w for weight weight for of solute and downside we are writing about weight of solute plus weight of solvent in 200 this formula is given in ncrt we can see here you can write in word that is mass of solute yes it is mass of solute and here we can write mass of solution and what should be there into 100 into 100 we can consider that is so what do you mean by mass of solute whatever amount of salt you have dissolved in that solvent what is w a w b we will use suppose we are considering here yes that is what i am using here 90 gram of water is it aqueous solution or non aqueous solution can you hint us please mention it is aqueous or non aqueous solution i think you are knowing the answer it is aqueous solution of course if i have added 10 gram of nacl that is the common salt table salt rock salt 
10 gram NaCl has been added, then, then it is dissolved in water. What is the mass percentage? So let us find out the value 10 upon 10 gram upon WA. What is WA? 90 gram. What is WB? 10 gram gram and gram is unit it can be cancelled into 100 if you solve the question i'm not going to solve here it will you will get the answer that is the 10 percentage so students what do you mean by mass percentage amount of solute dissolve in particular amount of solvent one more question i would like to know that is mass percentage mass percentage is is the mass percent is mass percent dependent or independent of temperature please help me to find answer students i want to give you one hint they when there is only weight when there is only mass then the mass cannot change with increase in temperature or decrease in temperature so wherever in whatever the unit you are using if mass is used only weight is used However, mass and weight are different in term of physics, but in the general we use here mass percentage or uh, that is weight or mass for us similar, it is not so different. For physics it is quite different. So, mass percentage, if mass or weight is there for any unit, then it is independent of temperature. In any of the unit, in any of the unit, if you use volume like as molarity, number of mole of solute dissolve in one liter of solvent one liter volume again it is dependent it should be dependent or independent i am not going to tell you you need to please find out and mention mention here in the uh, comment box that is mass percentage is dependent or independent of temperature let us see and let me know the answer of this question of mass percentage in the next class we will discuss about the other concentration terms that is very important it is very simple we have studied in class 11th also in the next term we will discuss about the molality mole fraction and this actually one more thing i have written here these two terms why we have written these in these three term in one column and this term these two terms in different column there is a one logic we will discuss this logic in the next class why and one more relation we will discuss we will discuss the relation between these term or how can we interchange the data from molality to molarity mole fraction to molality or mass percentage or volume percentage one more unit people often use